Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to talk about LTE on the Apple Watch 3. Um, so I've been using the LTE now, you know, testing out cellular service, and I want to kind of talk about, you know, when you're really going to use it and how it works out. So first, let's kind of talk about, you know, we all know what LTE is. It's when you're using your phone or text messaging or anything from your watch without your phone. So let me tell you kind of when not to use it, and then we'll talk about when it's actually good to use. So I think that my honest review is that I think for most people, they're not going to really use the LTE too much. Um, one of the things I've found is that like, you know, I kind of thought, well, before I had this watch that I was going to use the LTE in a store. However, I'm quickly realizing that I don't really want to be seen in a store talking to my watch because that's what you have to do. There is no keyboard to type a text message. You have to tell Siri what to say. I also realized that like if I'm texting my wife or one of my friends, I don't really want people around me hearing what I'm saying to the watch either. So using it in a store has become much less of a thing I want to do. Now, obviously, I can still do it if I have questions or it's an emergency or whatever, but I don't think it's something I'm not going to have a full conversation in the store around people. You know, just as another example, um, I was in my kid's school the other day and I really didn't want to be in the hallway sending a text message either um, because I would have to say it. Uh, you know, we were also... We took the kids to a place that was crowded, like a little fair type area, and I wouldn't have been able to talk loud enough for the watch to hear me because there were too many external noises around me. So I think in any environment where there's noise or other people, you're not really going to want to use this, you know? You're going to want to have your phone and be typing on your phone and for it to be quiet around you. Um, you know, especially if you're having a full conversation. This is not, def this is definitely just not meant for conversations. It's meant for a quick response to someone. If you have a question, an emergency, that type of thing. Um, so that's really when it's not going to be used. So let's talk about the types of people that are going to enjoy this and when you're going to like it. So first of all, I think anyone that works out, um, I think like when you're running and you don't want to bring your phone, this is awesome because you're not really going to have a conversation or text anyone anyway. You really need your phone for an emergency. Um, so I think it's a great option for that. I think like if you're a swimmer or people who have pools in their backyard um, or you're at the beach, I really think it's great for that because you don't need to lug your phone around. You know, I'm a guy, I have a pair of board shorts and my phone just doesn't fit in the board shorts. And it's kind of a pain all summer because I'm a surfer. I also have a pool, so I'm kind of in between both all summer and I'm in board shorts a lot. And it's a major, my phone is actually a major inconvenience for me. So I think this Will really solve that problem for me. Also going on bike rides and you know that kind of stuff for me is going to be a really big deal but I think if you don't do that stuff um, I don't really think you're going to be using it too much. Um, I can think of myself going to quiet areas like being in my work office but then I'm like well don't I just have my phone anyway. I think maybe driving in my car if I want to send someone a text it would be nice to say it into the watch then again I can do the same thing with my phone because I always have my phone in the car. Um, so certain things like that, it's really about when are you, what, what situations are you, where, are you in where you do not have a cell phone available? I think that's really what it's going to come down to. For me, it's working out, beach, pool, surfing, um, some instances like that where I don't have a phone that a watch will actually, you know, work. You know, Apple's big thing is, well, the surfer is going to have it. Yes, I am a surfer and I think the phone is awesome for an emergency out in the water or on the beach, but I don't think that's going to really be the case for most people. So I'm not sure a lot of people are going to get as much use out of this once the honeymoon period, you know, that first like few weeks that you have it is over. You know, I'd really like to start talking to people in six months from now after they've had this and see, are you really working? Are you really using it? You know, I feel like in six months from now when it's nicer out, that's when I'm going to be using this to its max. Uh, because that's when I'm in my board shorts outside doing a lot of things. Um, so, you know, those are my thoughts. Those are the people that are really going to be using it. Um, I think it's a really cool feature and I really like it. But I think that for a lot of people, if you, you really need to ask yourself, do I go anywhere without my phone ever? If the answer is no, then you definitely don't need the LTE version because your phone's much better. Um, but if you do go a lot of places without your phone, like working out and such, I think the LTE watch is an awesome option. Thanks.